Okay, now on the heels of our last segment about the McDonald's lawsuit, we have the candidates for the most frivolous lawsuits of the year. A rather dubious distinction. They're called the Stella Awards, named after the lady who sued McDonald's when she got burned by their hot coffee. Remember her? Well, now we want you to be the judge on this year's finalists for the Stella Awards. Please welcome Randy Cassingham. He is the founder of the Stella Awards. And we've asked the judge to stick around as well to help us out. Plus, Attila Benko, fraud investigator and co-author of Buy This Book or We'll Sue You. <laughs> Thank you. Great title. Thanks to all of you. Okay. So, Randy, if you don't mind, I took a little liberty, and I took some of the finalists, and we're going to go b through them one by one and have everyone offer their opinions. You guys ready to serve as the jury? Yes. Fine. Okay, here we go. Drum roll, please. There we go. I call Cash this, register. this would be the <laughs> jackass lawsuit. Forgive the vulgarity, but there's a reason why. This man in Montana changed his name legally in court to Jack Ass. And, and then after the MTV show came on called Jackass, he said, well, they're taking my ideas. I'm trying to promote safe drinking, and they're promoting irresponsible behavior. So he sued them for plagiarism and for disparaging his good name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show of hands, how many people think this one's frivolous? Well, a federal court agrees with you. It was thrown out. <laughs> really? Okay. One of the unique things about these frivolous cases is federal judges have the power to fine the lawyers and fine the plaintiffs who bring them. But how often does that happen? Yeah, they, it, it varies from state to state. Federal judges do it more than state judges. It happens right, very rarely. It's let me ask you, because Attila does a lot of, uh, of research on this. I mean, you have books and books worth of these frivolous lawsuits. Do they ever get fined? Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, I should share that. <laughs> well, there are thousands of these uh, frivolous lawsuits, no doubt about it. And uh, no, I don't think they ever do get fined. The worst that probably does happen is that their case gets thrown out, and uh, occasionally they have to pay the uh, court costs of the defending party. So uh, I think it would be a great idea to actually have them fined. That would be a great idea. All right, next frivolous candidate. Well, candidate. Was that way? Right? General, thank you. Um, this would be the overweight passenger lawsuit, Randy. Now, this was a lawyer who flew on an airline and he said he had to sit next to an obese passenger. He said he was huge and thought that therefore he should have to be able to get some, some compensation for, for having to sit next to a fat guy. Okay, show of hands. <laughs> how many people think it's frivolous? He asked for how much in compensation? I don't remember, but it was something like, like $1,800 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not much, mm, whatever. Did he, but he, did he get it? I don't think he got it, but I didn't see what happened on that case. Yeah, I didn't hear a resolution on it. Maybe it's still in the courts. It could be. What would you do, Judge, if this were presented to you? I would have thrown it out, and I would have fined him and made him pay the airline's legal fees to defend that. Good for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Next candidate. This has to be my personal favorite. Drum roll, please. This would be the prison inmate vampire lawsuit. Randy. This is an inmate in Utah who said he was a druidic vampire and that the prison wasn't allowing him to practice his religion, which included having sex with a vampress. Mm. Uh-huh. And Attila, you have done a lot of research that there are just some ridiculous prison inmate lawsuits out there. Absolutely. In fact, our book, we have about 13 chapters, but between each uh, chapter, we have a little sub-chapter of nothing but prisoner lawsuit. It's amazing the stuff that these guys come up with. Uh, evidently, they have a lot of time on their hands, so they can just sit around. And, uh, <laughs> right. They all want to play an uh, attorney, it seems. And I mean, this crazy thing is like uh, they were served soggy peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And a lot of these guys, are sadly, are, are on death row. And they're sitting there. I mean, they've committed hideous crimes. And yet they're out there suing because uh, the food they're getting is not up to their par, uh, up to yep. their you know, expectations. And sometimes they're suing their victims, too, which is a yes. real outrage. That is shocking. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. But, they you are know, suing but, their victims. But, Judge, I'm, you, know, you and your fellow judges have seen these a million times. You must see them coming a mile away when they You know, you do. And I'll, I'll tell you, sometimes justice is determined by the personality of the judges. Some judges welcome these lawsuits, but they really clog the courts, waste taxpayer time and money, and don't belong there. There, there's not a remedy for every wrong. If, you sat, if, you're, if you're next to a fat person, so be it. You don't sue the airline for it. If they're that fat, take another flight. <laughs> All right, but Attila, if you don't mind, I'd like you to tell me your personal favorite for a uh, frivolous lawsuit, the one with the cheerleader? Yeah, that, that one always seems to, uh, it's kind of a picturesque one. Um, a woman goes out and buys some contraceptive jelly, and uh, when it 
it's time for her to use it, she uh, lopes into the kitchen and uh, makes some toast and smears the jelly on the toast and eats it. And uh, uh, naturally, she, uh, well not naturally, but she becomes pregnant. And uh, so she goes out and sues the contraceptive jelly manufacturer and also sues the uh, drugstore that sold her the jelly. And uh, I mean, if that isn't crazy no, enough. No, no, I'm afraid no, you're not gonna no. find that on StellaAwards.com because that's an urban legend. It's been going around for several years. It makes fun of the dumb blonde mystique and it has been debunked many times by, by internet urban legend sites. All right. I'll tell you, I'll tell well, you what started these lawsuits. Very quickly, Judge. Is a, a lady drying her dog in the microwave. <laughs> it exploded. Oh. She sues the manufacturer of failure to warn. Which That's the first also, of these. Which was also an urban legend. Yeah. Well, that's a real one. Well, needless to say, we're not going out for lunch after this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a McDonald's. Well, thank and you. It gives all a whole new meaning much. to the word pass the jelly. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay, finally, we're changing the subject. Lord help us. Did you get a good look at the person who delivered your newspaper this morning? One delivery man just got arrested for his appearance. Do you know why? The rest of the story is coming up next on Dayside.